Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. Had a pretty solid chess day that I'd like to share with you, calling this video a quality chess day. Because I didn't really go all that heavy, but what I did try to do was maintain really good control of the weight and make sure all of that resistance is centralized right in the muscles that I'm trying to use. So really feel, feel the, the movements in my chest and allow me to get as much out of the movement as I can, even though I'm not really packing on the weight. Uh, that's this is something that you're gonna have to well at least something that I have to get comfortable with doing during the dieting process because you don't have as much raw power but you can still have that intensity it just transfers into like a more focused intensity rather than just unlimited energy that you can use to blast huge weights although even when you are on a diet you don't want to completely abandon lifting heavy there are days where I definitely will lift heavy some people have it built into like a program you know they have like a uh, a strength day, hypertrophy, or a strength week, hypertrophy week, and then deload. I don't really do that in, in terms of like a, a schedule. It might even be better to do it that way, honestly. But I just try to go by feel. And uh, when I'm feeling strong, I'll lift heavy. I mean, for example, on my uh, my leg day that I did just the day before this, I was actually feeling pretty good, and I went all the way back up to uh, pretty much what I was doing when I was bulking. I, I did a, a, a nice strong rep of 315, which isn't much to a lot of people I know, but. It, that that was my uh, that was my all-time max, just only a short while ago, and to be able to get that fairly easily, uh, well into my diet at this point, I felt pretty good about that. That did, however, take a lot of my energy and a lot of my intensity. So the next day when I get to the gym, you know, I'm not feeling just as raw powerful, especially when I'm keeping my calories kind of low. Uh, so what I did is, like I'm showing you here, had really really focused and controlled reps, still trying to get that intensity going, still trying to use you know, good speed, I guess, but it's just a matter of, for me, right now, it's a matter of doing what I can do, and trying to keep my effort level the same across all my workouts, not, not even if I can't really keep the weight exactly the same. And that's what I mean by going by feel. You can see what you can do, but, you know, no matter what the weight looks like, as long as you're really putting a focused effort into your workouts, you're probably going to get a lot out of them, or at least that's what I do. And the chest workout that I'm showing you guys today looks a lot like pretty much the chest workouts that I've been doing for the past couple weeks or so. This is, this is my my pretty basic chest workout for right now. I start off on the bench, do some flat benching, then I transition over to the incline bench, get a solid, I don't know, anywhere from six to eight sets, honestly, on the flat bench and the incline. I've been trying to give more attention to incline recently just because I want, you know, my upper chest to grow. That's an area I feel like that needs improvement, so we put an extra work. Uh, then I'll transition over to the uh, dumbbell presses. And I haven't been doing my dumbbells very heavy. I don't generally feel like I need to do super heavy dumbbell presses. I generally prefer to do the heavier stuff with the barbell and have the dumbbells be more of the control aspect of things. And there's two parts to that, at least two parts. <laughs> One, I'm kind of new to dumbbells. There's something that I've always felt like I need to incorporate more of. And I've been really trying to make an effort to do more dumbbell pressing movements for my chest uh, recently. But the other thing is, you know, I think dumbbells are a movement that really encourages the control aspect of things. Now, people definitely can go heavy on dumbbells, and that's beast. But for me, at, at this point in my sort of dumbbell experience, I prefer to go with moderate weight, moderate reps, and really, really solid control. I think I'm getting a lot out of that right now. You know, as I get stronger, as I get more used to dumbbells, as the support muscles really start to, to, to develop and come online, then of course we will naturally increase the dumbbell weight that we're pressing, but it's all good. I also wanted to include a little bit of shoulders in this particular push workout, chest workout, because I feel like my shoulders are one of those areas that also needs a lot of growth, and I feel like hitting a few sets of shoulders on a push day makes a lot of sense, so that's what I, what I did today. Sometimes I'll even throw some shoulders in on a back day, because I feel like a few sets to stimulate my shoulders even not on shoulder day, will still do me much more good than harm. I'm not really hurting my recovery. I'm not really, you know, putting so much work into my shoulders that they're, like, sore all the time or getting hurt. Just want to give them some attention, you know? Plus, it feels good to work your shoulders a little bit. I, I like to have that that feeling. I want to I wanna have in my head, you know, the feeling of, of working my shoulders in a particular kind of way because as you work a muscle more and more, you get to be more and more in touch with it. You get to know more and more what it feels like to have that muscle activate in the right way. And, uh... So it's, it's a learning experience, and if something that I can do every day is going to help me learn about it. So it's all good, but I do think my shoulders are growing. And that's the kind of thing that you see as you continue to lose body fat. Right now, I think I, I mentioned it in the last video, I think, or maybe my last gym video, that I'm, I'm about 202 right now. So continuing to lose body fat, but maintaining uh, strength on a, uh, not a day-to-day -day basis. There are definitely days where 
you know, you don't have as much energy, you don't have as much pop as I was talking about earlier, but then there are also days where you get in the gym and you feel good and you can do just as much weight as you were before, you know? I was, I've deadlifted as much as I've deadlifted when I was bulking, I have days where I've benched as much as I benched when I was bulking, and I just, you know, did, ha did a solid leg workout where I squatted as much as when I was bulking. It's just not on an everyday basis, you just can't walk in the gym and just crush it every day. But like I said, it, for me right now, in my mindset, it's about a consistent effort. You know, consist consistently putting in as much effort as you can in the gym and uh, do what you can do and get the results as they come. And I think having that long-term focus on consistency in my diet and my training has helped me out a ton, and I think it'll help you guys out a lot as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to wrap this video up, try to get down to streaming for the day. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!